Hi there! In today's tutorial, we will retouch a portrait with the help of Dodge and Burn. Let's begin! You can see on the screen from the left is a raw image and from the right already retouched with the help of Dodge and Burn. We will get to this result together step by step. In front of you a raw image. First of all, before we are going to work with Dodge and Burn, you have to remove such defects of the skin like large pimples, maybe stray hair. Uh, normally it is done on a background copy or probably on an empty layer with spot healing brush tool and healing brush tool. Only after that we will work on Dodge and Burn. All right. So now I'll delete this layer and to work with Dodge and Burn I prefer on a simple gray layer with classic Dodge and Burn tools. I have explained in my first video the theory of Dodge and Burn. I recommend you to watch it before we start this practical part and I've shown there three methods of working with Dodge and Burn. And I always choose the simplest one. I don't like to complicate things. And the simplest one for me is to create layer, new layer, and choose mode from normal to soft light, check and fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray, and press OK. You can also rename the layer. We will create two more similar layers but we won't go again through the entire procedure. We'll just press Command or Control J twice and we will get three equal gray layers. All right, so we will start from the layer below and we will name it as Dodge and Burn Spots because we are going to work on unwanted shadows, under eyes circles on this layer. Now, Above layers are for contouring and we will call them dodge, an upper layer, burn. Okay, so let's deactivate two upper layers for now and start working on dodge and burn spots. For the beginners it's very difficult to identify what exactly has to be dodged or burned and for that we are going to create a help layer which is simply adjustment layer black and white. We will pull reds towards left till the face starts looking almost horrific. And now you may see the spots on the face like that. Um, I will identify it for you. I will create one empty layer. Don't do that. It's just for the sake of demonstration and with the red color. I'm going to show you what exactly has to be highlighted, okay? So these under eye circles, of course, this kind of dark spot, the next spot next to the uh, nose. All this, if you see the sudden darkness on the face, the aim is to make transaction from shadow to light very even. all of it, maybe a little bit here, no sudden spots on the face. You also can minimize the wrinkles and fine lines with the help of Dodge tool and we are going to do it together. So these are the things which we have to highlight with the Dodge tool. Now I'm going to delete this layer because it was just for the demonstration purpose. And go down on Dodge and Burn Spots layer, pick Simple Dodge tool, make sure your exposure no more than 4, range mid-tones, right click on the mouse you will get the size of your brush which will vary, it depends on the area you're working on and hardness I keep always 0. Let's begin.
Now we will compare before and after. Okay. This is before and this is after. There are no more prominent dark spots and we kind of made the skin tones even. Transaction from light to shadow and on the gray we have no more black spots. So you can see and we will remove now a black and white help layer. We don't need it anymore. We can throw it in the bin. And you can see before and after in color. Sometimes when you work with elderly uh, people portrait, you can also minimize the wrinkles. I do not advise to blur it or to remove it with spot healing brush tool. I advise to minimize it because camera, um, professional camera, they have uh, ability to capture, you know, all the fine lines and wrinkles which our eye simply don't see. So we can increase the exposure and the tiny dodge tool brush just go inside of these dark lines just to minimize it. No need to remove them completely because you know it's gonna be just fake. People know their age and um, there is nothing to be ashamed in aging. We just have to bring it to the condition how our eye sees it, not the camera. Because camera normally puts on two things, weight and age, especially if you shoot in studio. If you notice the professional models, they are so, so skinny, but they look quite normal on the uh, photo. And when you shoot a normal person, like in life, when they don't seem to be fat, but on camera, uh, especially with studio lights, they look little on a bigger side. And of course, models, their career almost over by 30 because they want absolutely tender age for shoots. And uh, camera has ability to capture all the small lines which our eye don't see. That's why I do not recommend to completely eliminate the wrinkles and signs of aging. I'm just uh, advising you to minimize it with the help of Dodge and Burn. So you can see now if I deactivate the layer, our fine lines became way less visible. Now you can see before and after. Now we are done with Dodge and Burn spots. We prepared our face uh, for contouring. What is contouring? It's basically making the image more voluminous and kind of give it 3D effect. So there are two layers, dodging and burning. And we will do accordingly, first on dodge with the dodge tool. And dodging means highlighting the areas of the image. So let's think as makeup artists during their classes. You know, every makeup artist know uh, what exactly needs to be highlighted and darkened. They do contour in very well. And for that I'll again create a help layer to demonstrate with a red color brush what exactly we will be doing with dodge and burn. So dodging is normally T line, it's forehead and the nose. It is cheekbones It's a little bit on the chin, above the lip, maybe inside the eye, just the catch light, maybe a little bit even uh, white part of the eyes. Color bones color bones and center or top of the uh, shoulders. Basically this is what you need to dodge, maybe inside the lip also a little bit, so to give uh, nice shine and volume. 
and you can repeat all existing highlights on the hair as well. Now with the help of blue brush I'm going to show you what we are going to burn. So burning normally around the forehead, underneath the cheekbones, underneath the chin, below the lip, nose from both sides a little bit, from below, a bit of uh, makeup you can do, and eyebrows. and below the collarbones. Repeat now all the existing shadows as well. Everything which is in red we are going to highlight and everything which is in blue we are going to darken. Let's remove this layer and begin our work. So dodging with the dodge tool again exposure no more than say maybe four, five, no more than that and the brush quite large. We will start from forehead in the center, as I said. We will do some cheekbones. Tease on. Repeat the existing highlights on the nose and maybe even side, wherever the light falls. Now let's check before and after. So we just slightly highlighted the mentioned before areas. Now we will burn on the upper grey layer with the burn tool. Let's see the result now. This is burn. This is dodge. All right. Let's group them together by uh, pressing command or control key and selecting both layers. Now press command or control G. And we are getting group out of two layers. Dodge and burn. We can see the complete result before and after. So what's changed? The image now looks more voluminous and the face kind of closer to us, right? And if you feel that you've done too much of burning or too much of uh, dodging, you can also minimize the opacity of the layer. You see? and you can minimize the opacity of the layer. Burn, check if we've done too much, let's deactivate. And also we can minimize the opacity of the layer. So it looks more um, subtle if you want. Or you can just decrease the opacity of entire group. Yeah, you see the effect before and after before and after. So you can perfectly control your dodging and burning even after your work is done. Now let's place dodge and burn layer spots into the group and see entire result. You can make many gray layers and work separately on the eyes, on the lips, you know, to be on a safe side. So if something is overdone, you can just uh, delete the gray layer and create another one. So for example, we can create now another gray layer, filter, new layer, new layer. And we will call it eyes change mode from normal to soft light, press OK. 
So on this layer we can work with dodge tool just on the details of the eyes. This is before and after. So I wanted to mention also if you are working with for example dodge tool and you want to darken some spot nearby but you don't want to go all the way over here and change the tools from here you can just press Alt and Option key let me demonstrate it for you and bring exposure to 100 for that purpose for example I was like you're working on with the dodge tool and you want to darken something press Alt or Option key and it will change into burn alright so same uh, you can apply for burn tool if you're burning something and then you need to switch to dodge suddenly you can press alt or option key and work further without going all the way over here okay so now let's close this group and I would like to demonstrate one more technique which I often use for colorful images uh, and that's very very simple all you have to do is to create an empty layer and pick a brush normal brush pressing alt or option key we can select the color we want to apply on the background for example brighter blue than what we have right now this is kind of grayish we want to make it bright blue and paint over just roughly paint over the background change your mode from normal to soft light yeah and you will see the result right away so it's like more fresh blue color of course you can do it more carefully than what I've done just now and if you're not satisfied with this color you can always go to image adjustment hue saturation and play with the hues give it a little different tint you know maybe lavender yeah press ok here I've done too much so I would erase from the face yeah, something like that you can create multiple layers for that purpose for example you want to enhance yellow color again create new empty layer from normal to soft light take a brush press alt or option key select the color which you like for example this this yellow yeah and just brush over certain areas now wherever you want to add some sunlight <laughs> And now you can minimize the opacity. So you get this kind of result. Similarly, you can color anything you want. Then you shoot outdoor portraits. For example, you shoot the sea, which doesn't look very blue, but looks kind of gray. You can apply a, a similar technique on the outdoor photography. So let me show the complete result before and after. Before and after. Before and after. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this simple tutorial. Don't look for complicated ways. Always choose the easy way because the result you can achieve the same but with less layers and with less headache and uh, I'm showing you the simplest ways basically the ones which I'm using myself I hope you liked the tutorial thank you so much for watching don't hesitate to write down below in comments if you have any questions or maybe request on particular topic of the next video bye bye